the new science and engineering innovation and research building that we're going to be building is a huge opportunity. 200,000 plus square foot building that's going to be our signature entrance to the south side of campus and it's going to bring research interests from across campus together in the things that we do in life and health science research, which has really become a major area of research focus for us. This really is a, a way to fully integrate a number of different disciplines including engineering, uh, chemistry, biology, kinesiology, uh, those types of disciplines to really begin to put together uh, a program to understand how to improve health. So there's a few aspects of the new building that are different than what we've done before and certainly right at the state of the art for anybody doing high-end research buildings. The research neighborhoods we're putting together are going to bring multiple research groups together working in the same area on a day-to-day -day basis and all designed to try and create more interdisciplinary collaborative research. Historically, universities have been organized around disciplines. However, in order to establish successful interdisciplinary programs, physical space plays a key role. In other words, in interdisciplinary research, space matters. Whenever you get these scientists together and allow them to just talk to each other and exchange information, that is when science happens. That's the most exciting part of science. The way we've set up the research environment, it's also going to be open, at least visibly open, from the rest of the building so that people can look in and see what's happening in laboratories. Part of our idea of science on display, which is going to help I think, our students to be able to see things they may not normally get a chance to see, and hopefully even get many of them interested in pursuing research careers that they might not have been anticipating. But when you talk about students who are exposed to science, who are mingling with scientists, that's a dream. That's the differentiating feature between a world-class university and a small, quiet one. And we have that capacity, and this building is bringing us together to do that. For them to learn in class and actually see it for themselves, what could be potentially applicable? I think so. It's good for faculty, good for students, and it's gonna push us closer, closer to the top tier of research institutions, not in North Texas, but probably the, across the United States. UTA is a university on the rise. And the Sear building is an indication of the UTA's commitment to excellence in research that would have significant impact on society.